The Attractiveness of Dominance. Attract more women with this technique. Hey there, it's Anna. Today we are tackling a topic that's often misunderstood yet undeniably potent in the realm of attraction, the allure of dominance. We will dive deep into why dominance is so attractive to many women and how you can harness this trait to an appealing manner. We are not just talking brute strength or loud voices. We are exploring the psychological aspects of dominance that draw people in. Ready to see how this powerful trait can work for you? Let's jump in. Defining dominance in attraction. In the realm of attraction and personal relationships, dominance often carries a complex and nuanced meaning. It's not about overpowering or controlling behavior, but rather exudes confidence, assertiveness, and the ability to lead and make decisions. This form of dominance is about influencing your environment and relationships positively, demonstrating competence and reliability. Dominance in attraction speaks to a primal instinct for security and stability. It signals the capability to protect, provide, and make thoughtful decisions, traits historically associated with good partnership and leadership qualities. However, in modern context, it also encompasses emotional intelligence, the capacity for empathy, and the strength to support and uplift others. True dominance is balanced by kindness and consideration. It's not about asserting superiority, but about showing that you are capable of taking the lead when necessary while also valuing the contributions and autonomy of others. This balance makes dominance an attractive trait because it suggests a partner who is both strong and supportive, capable of navigating challenges with confidence while maintaining a nurturing and respectful relationship dynamic. Understanding dominance in this light shifts the perspective from a purely physical or aggressive trait to one that encompasses mental and emotional strengths, aligning with contemporary values of equality and mutual respect in relationships. The psychology behind dominance attraction. The attraction to dominant personalities is deeply rooted in psychological principles and evolutionary biology. It's a complex interplay of factors that signify safety, stability, and the ability to navigate the social hierarchy effectively. Dominant traits such as confidence, decisiveness, and leadership are often interpreted as indicators of a strong partner who can provide and protect, appealing to a subconscious level of mate selection. From a psychological standpoint, dominant personalities are perceived as more likely to succeed in various aspects of life, including career and social settings. This success translates into a form of security and stability, qualities highly valued in long-term relationships. Additionally, the assertiveness and self-assuredness inherent in dominant individuals can be inherently attractive, as they suggest a life of purpose and ambition. However, it's crucial to distinguish between healthy dominance, a leadership quality that includes respect for others and emotional intelligence, and unhealthy dominance, which can manifest as controlling or aggressive behavior. The attraction generally leans towards the former, where dominance is balanced with empathy and consideration for others. Understanding the psychology behind dominance attraction also involves recognizing the desire for a partnership that provides both challenge and support, encouraging personal growth and mutual mutual respect. This dynamic fosters a powerful and deep connection that goes beyond superficial interpretations of dominance. Assertive communication. Mastering the art of assertive communication is a key aspect of the attractiveness associated with dominance. It involves expressing one's desires, needs, and boundaries in a way that is both clear and respectful. Assertiveness is not about being aggressive or demanding, but about being direct and honest while also valuing the perspective and rights of others. This form of communication is attractive because it demonstrates confidence and self-respect, signaling that one values themselves enough to speak up for what they believe in. Assertive communication also plays a crucial role in establishing and maintaining healthy relationships. It allows for open and honest dialogue, reducing misunderstandings, and fostering a deeper mutual understanding. By clearly articulating thoughts and feelings, assertive individuals can navigate conflicts more effectively effectively, leading to resolutions that respect both parties' needs. Moreover, assertiveness is intertwined with emotional intelligence. It requires awareness of one's emotions and the ability to manage them in interactions. This balance between expressing oneself and being considerate of others' feelings is a hallmark of a dominant yet caring personality, making assertive communicators particularly attractive as partners. They are seen as reliable and trustworthy, capable of leading yet flexible enough to compromise. 
embracing assertive communication underscores a maturity and depth that goes beyond superficial dominance, appealing to those who value genuine connections and mutual respect. The power of taken initiative, an undeniable facet of dominance's allure, is the attractiveness of taken initiative. This trait is about being proactive, not only in planning and decision making, but also in personal development and pursuing goals. Taken initiative demonstrates ambition, leadership, and the ability to shape one's environment rather than just reacting to it. It's a proactive stance that signals competence, foresight, and the capacity to provide direction and stability. In relationships, the power of taken initiative is particularly compelling. It shows a willingness to invest effort and thought in creating meaningful experiences and solving problems. Whether it's planning a date, tackling a joint project, or making decisions that affect both parties, taking the lead responsibly is an attractive quality. It suggests a level of engagement and commitment that goes beyond mere words. Reinforce the perception of the individual as a dependable partner. Moreover, taking initiative reflects a dynamic and engaging approach to life. It's indicative of someone who is not content with the status quo, but is always looking for ways to improve, grow and bring value to the relationships and endeavours. This drive and determination are core aspects of what makes dominance so appealing, highlighting a blend of ambition and action that can inspire and attract others. Body language of dominance. The body language of dominance is a subtle yet powerful tool in conveying authority and confidence without crossing into intimidation. It's about presenting oneself in a manner that exudes self-assurance and control, using non-verbal cues to communicate strength and stability. This body language includes maintaining good posture, making steady eye contact, and using gestures that are deliberate and controlled. Adopting dominant body language doesn't mean displaying aggression or trying to overpower others physically or psychologically. Instead, it's about asserting presence in a calm and composed manner. Open postures such as keeping hands visible and avoiding cross crossed arms signals openness and confidence, inviting trust rather than fear. Moreover, the ability to hold someone's gaze with a sense of calm and assurance can significantly enhance one's perceived dominance. It communicates that you are comfortable in your own skin and not easily rattled. Similarly, occupying space confidently without encroaching on others' personal space reinforces the image of a leader who is both self-assured and considerate. Dominant body language, when used appropriately, can make a lasting impression. It can sway social dynamics in one's favour, enhancing attractiveness by portraying an individual as both capable and reliable, a figure of respect rather than fear. Emotional intelligence. A crucial aspect that enhances the attractiveness of dominance is the balance of dominant traits with high emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence involves understanding one's own emotions and those of others, using this awareness to guide thinking and behaviour. This balance ensures that dominant traits are moderated by empathy, compassion, and the ability to connect on a deeper level. Individuals who combine dominance with emotional intelligence navigate relationships with a unique blend of confidence and sensitivity. They can lead and assert themselves without overshadowing or disregarding the feelings and needs of others. This capability to understand and respond to the emotional landscape of those around them makes their dominance not just tolerable but deeply attractive. It transforms leadership into a collaborative and inclusive process, fostering respect and admiration from peers and partners alike. High emotional intelligence allows for the effective management of conflicts, the ability to listen actively, and the capacity to provide support when needed. These skills are invaluable in personal and professional relationships, enhancing the individual's appeal by demonstrating that strength does not preclude kindness and that authority can coexist with understanding. Balancing dominance with emotional intelligence signifies a mature and holistic approach to leadership and relationships, showcasing an individual who is not only powerful, but also profoundly human and relatable. The role of confidence. Confidence is the cornerstone upon which the appeal of dominance is built. It's not just an accessory to dominant behavior, it's the very essence that makes dominance attractive and sustainable. Confidence is the internal fuel that powers the drive for relationships. Confidence is the internal fuel that powers the drive for leadership, decision-making, and the ability to stand firm in the face of challenges. It's about having a profound belief in one's abilities and worth, which naturally projects an aura of control and influence. However, genuine confidence is cultivated from within. It's a product of self-awareness, acceptance, and continuous personal growth. It involves recognizing your strengths and weaknesses and embracing them as part of your unique makeup. Building confidence can start with setting and achieving small goals 
goals, stepping out of your comfort zone and practicing self-compassion. Each achievement, no matter how small, serves as a building block for deeper self-assurance. Confidence also forms from a place of authenticity. It's about being true to yourself rather than adopting a facade of dominance. This authenticity ensures that confidence is not perceived as arrogance but is genuine self-assurance. When confidence underpins dominance, it transforms it into a force for positive influence and attraction. And it makes clear that true dominance is not about overpowering others, but about leading with conviction, integrity, and a deep sense of self-belief. Now that you understand the attractiveness of dominance, what's next for you? Discover how to uncover her true intentions or learn the easiest ways to tell if she's physically attracted to you. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more.